assalamu alaikum dear students our today's topic is phosphorus cycle and just like other cycle this phosphorus cycle it is the movement of phosphorus through various spheres of the environment the phosphorus cycle it is the circulation of phosphorus among the rocks soil water and plants and animals of the earth human beings and all other organisms must have phosphorus to live because this phosphorus uh it is a part of their dna rna uh vital components that are uh, present in the cells it forms a part of these uh components in nature most phosphorus occurs in phosphate rock which contains phosphate ions uh, combined with calcium magnesium chlorine and fluorine so the uh source so far as source of phos uh, phosphorus is concerned uh, it is mostly rock phosphate rocks are the major sources of this phosphorus on earth and this phosphorus it cannot be found in air uh, in the gaseous form because uh, phosphorus is usually liquid at normal temperatures pressure uh, and this cycle is the slowest of matter cycles uh, this phosphorus it is most commonly found in rock formations and ocean sediments as phosphate salts uh, phosphates are also limiting factor for plant growth in marine ecosystems because of their uh, low water solubility these phosphates are uh, not very soluble in water therefore it becomes these phosphates become a limiting factor for plant growth in marine ecosystems now coming to the process of phosphorus cycle Mm, the cycle basically starts out in the earth soil the soil contains phosphates and when uh, something grows out of the soil uh, it should have phosphate as well when the plants grow they are consumed by herbivores and omnivore animals these animals uh, are animal waste or the uh, animal bodies when die uh, it becomes detrites so their body becomes detrites this detrites is non living organic uh, material uh, when the detrites go deep into the soil deteriorates in the soil decompose and become the soil phosphate and the cycle repeats again and again uh, another example of this phosphorus cycle is when rocks are created uh, the phosphate in the soil moves on and transfers its phosphate to the rocks under water when the uplifting of the rocks occur it takes the phosphate along with it uh, after that the weathering of the rocks occur and the rocks begin to break down into the soil and the phosphate in the rocks ends up in the soil again and this uh, cycle repeats now coming to the various steps that are involved in this phosphorus cycle uh, step number first it is weathering since the main source of phosphorus is found in rocks the first step of the phosphorus cycle involves the extraction of phosphorus from the rocks by weathering and these weathering events such as rain and other so uh, sources of erosion result in phosphorus being washed into the soil and then uh, when uh, this uh, phosphorus becomes available in the soil then the second step involved is absorption by plants and animals now we have phosphorus uh, available in the soil plants fungi and other microorganisms are able to absorb phosphorus and grow in addition phosphorus can also be washed into the local water systems uh, plants can also obtain phosphorus directly from water and grow in addition to plants animals can also obtain phosphorus from drinking water and eating plants and then next step is return to the environment via decomposition when plants and animals die decomposition results in the return of phosphorus back to the environment via water or soil and these plants and animals in these environments can then use this process this process these processes go on repeating and uh, continue uh, continuing the cycle there by so broadly we are having uh, three steps in this phosphorus cycle 
Number one is weathering. It makes availability of phosphorus in the soil. Then the number two is absorption by plants and animals. The available phosphorus in the soil that is absorbed by plants and animals through various modes. And then uh, returning to the environment via decomposition. So three processes, uh, three important processes occur in the, in the phosphorus cycle. Uh, weathering, absorption by plants and animals and then returning, via environment, uh, uh, returning to the environment via decomposition. So this is about phosphorus cycle. Thank you.